Thanks, Tara. New revelations tonight following the arrest of two suspected airport baggage thieves. Phoenix police officers say when they entered the West Valley home of Keith and Stacy King, there were 14 rooms covered from floor to ceiling full of suitcases and clothes. A husband and wife were arrested Monday after police discovered they had stolen up to 1,000 bags from Sky Harbor Airport over the co course of many years. Investigators say they have found items like computers, cameras, and passports that have given them leads on who actually owns the stolen property. The problem is none of the bags had identification, so it may be a long process to return the items to their rightful owner. Well, right now, our priorities are to find the people whose this luggage is, it belongs to. And, and that's also our biggest challenge, again, because of the similarities in luggage. Not too long ago, workers at Sky Harbor would check baggage tags before travelers could leave the claim area. So why was that security check discontinued? Well, we sent Cronkite News reporter Heather Turner to find out. Heather, you've been following this investigation since the beginning. What did airport officials say about all this? The airport refused to speak on camera, but they did tell me over the phone that the airlines had to cut the system of checking identification sometime after 9-11. Thousands of pieces of luggage spill into baggage claim at Sky Harbor every day, but there's no security to ensure each bag is leaving with its rightful owner. And that hasn't happened since shortly after 9-11. That was cut with cost cutting and the economy downturn, but uh, it's possible that may be brought back at some point. Spokeswoman Deborah Ostriker says baggage security is up to the airlines, not the airport itself. Traveler John Ford didn't think twice about leaving his luggage unattended for about two hours today. But after hearing about the hundreds of bags discovered inside this West Valley home, he says he's learned his lesson. It was surprising to hear, so it will, I guess, allow me to become a little bit more focused. Now that, you know, this story has developed and I became aware of it, maybe it's not a good thing for me to do. Phoenix police said the majority of bags stolen were black rolly bags, but it's already hard enough to distinguish your black bag from someone else's. So that's why they're recommending for you to come straight to the baggage claim and pick up your luggage as soon as you get off the plane. Sky Harbor isn't alone. We checked with airports in Chicago, Houston, L.A., and Las Vegas. Not one reports checking claim tags. I imagine that everyone across this country right now who does not have the uh, baggage claim check security is relooking this situation. Police say the best way to make sure your luggage is safe is to report anything suspicious that you see. If you leave that luggage on the carousel going around and around and around and around for 30 minutes to an hour, you got a pretty good chance of it getting stolen. Officers also recommend putting your name and phone number somewhere inside your bag. That way, if your bag ends up somewhere like this, at least there's a chance of getting it back. Right now, police say their biggest priority is to match the luggage to the rightful owner. Live in Phoenix, Heather Turner, Cronkite News.